let's talk about Jamil Charlo. He has been stripped of his WBA title. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, Bush should fight Tim Zhu and then fight Jamil Charlo. Charlo ain't got shit no more. You know, he ain't got no, no reputation no more. His reputation in the shitter. Um, he don't have an IBF no more. He don't have a WBA no more. He don't have, uh, he's the WBC interim champion. Uh, I think they did they get him WBC interim champion. Nah, yeah, because you know uh, Fondora fighting Shariri Bolshik for the title March 30th. Um, so he IBF stripped him. Never, you know, he was stripped of the WBO right before the Canelo fight. So he ain't got nothing no more, you know. And this will happen when he said a year off the ring, right? He said a year off the ring after he beat beat uh, Mendoza. For undisputed, not Mendoza. I think beat uh Costanos for undisputed, and now he's sitting here and he ain't got nothing. He ain't got absolutely nothing. He ain't got absolutely nothing, bro. And um and um he he got an offer. You know, he going to sit out the, the ring probably for another year. With the PBC Prime situation, he probably going to sit out another year. So it's probably over with for him. Then he had those allegations against him. And then he popped up on social media, bought a new luxury car. So he probably, he, you know, he probably he probably done. Even if he do try to come back, he done. You know, he made, they said he made 10 versus Castanos. He probably made t- he probably made ten versus uh, Canelo. I mean, he, he did what he wanted to do in the sport. A lot of these dudes, uh, and it, can sh- it shows a lot of these dudes' goals wasn't to be the best. That wasn't these dudes. These dudes just wanted to fight for some money. That's it. And you can blame Floyd and say Floyd influenced these dudes just to fight for money. And you know, you you can say you want to say that. I ain't got to argue with you. But it didn't really mean nothing to be a world champion to him. It didn't really mean nothing to be undisputed for him. It was about the bag. And then once he got the bag, you know, he stopped wanting to fight. The only thing that probably made him want to come back to fight was getting the bag again again versus Canelo Alvarez. That's the only thing that made him probably want to come back and get the bag. So that's what these dudes be chasing. They chase the money. They don't even chase the fame, bro. Mm-mm. They don't even chase the fame. Because if they did, you know, these dudes would be trying to fight the biggest and on the best stages. These dudes would do a better job of growing the brand outside of the sport of boxing. That's what they would be doing. And that ain't what they doing. That ain't what they're doing. And now he's no longer a world champion. They just want to consider him an interim champion. You know, if you want to consider him an interim champion, be my guest. Be my guest. But Jamel Charlo stripped the WBA title. Let's read it. Uh, it says, WBA, Jamel Charlo has been stripped of the WBA junior middleweight title, meaning the former undisputed champion has lost the last of his undisputed titles. WBA President Gilberto Ramirez informed Dan Raphael of the championship committee's decision to relieve 33-year-old Charlo of his final piece of title hardware. Charlo is 35 to 1, 19 KOs, now without a belt for the first time since 2019. And he hasn't boxed since the life side of defeat of moving up um, two weight classes to Canelo Alvarez at T-Mobile um, in Las Vegas last September. Charlo fought once in 2020 and 2021, once in 2022, and was his only fight last year. Charlo did not defend the undisputed mantle he earned having uh, unified against Brian Costanza in 2022 and in a rematch of their 2021 draw. But while he could still be classed as the lineal champion, the WBA has now officially called him a champion in recess. Charlo has had uh, out the ring problems and having fought Canelo at super middleweight, he had not informed the governing body of his plans either of fighting again or, if so, the weight class he would return in. 
As expected, the WBA will now be on the line Friday, March 8th in Saudi Arabia for Uzbeka Israel Matamov and num- uh, with the no- WBA number one in Russia's Mata Magbon Kurbananov uh, meet. Magnamov is 9 0 and 1 to 6 KOs, and Kabranov is 25 and 0 with 13 stoppages. So now they're giving titles to people that we don't even know. A d- guy with 10 fights, and you know, another guy I've heard of him, but uh, most people don't know. So at the end of the day, um, you know, it really became with him losing them belts, it really became a European division or international di- division for sure. So, um, you know, he don't know what he's going to do next because PBC ain't got no dates. So he don't even know what he's going to do next. You know what I'm saying? He don't even know what he's going to do next. So that, that's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So that's the last of his belts right there. Um... You know, and um, you know he don't know what he gonna do. Look at all that inactivity once a year, once a year, once a year. You know what I'm saying? And how can he tell the sanction about Bell Bodies what he gonna do when he don't know? He, you know, we don't even know if he, like, like the article said, we don't even know if we go, he gonna fight again. And after that performance versus Canelo, I don't think people want to see him fight again no more neither. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he ain't got no stock. You know, he ain't got no stock, no nothing going for him. You know, but they let Canelo hold it as long as he want to. For real. But Charlo ain't got nobody to blame but itself. Real talk. He ain't got nobody but to blame for itself but itself. But you know, that is what it is, man. I just feel that uh, you know, they don't really wanna say it. But, you know, Al Heyman didn't fuck their careers up. I made a lot of money. I chased money and then chased a chase, uh, legacy. And now he's no longer world champion. He holds the lineal title, and that'd be stripped from him pretty soon, too. That'd be stripped, that'd be stripped from him pretty soon, too. So, mm, mm, but you know we'll see what's next. Could it be a move to sixty? Could it be retirement? You know, remember he said he wasn't moving up. I'm in fifty four. I'm in fifty four. He brings nothing to the table for Terence Crawford now. He, and Crawford said that after the fight. He said, I want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? And he was right. He was right. Ain't ain't nothing ain't nothing in that fight. You know, we don't even know what this dude got. He doesn't seem like he ain't even got the dog in him to fight no more. So come on. But we'll see what his next move is. I don't know if it's going to be in the courtroom. His next fight is going to be in the ring. You probably see him return somewhere late, 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 you know, late this year. Um, his brother really is. Rumor is his brother. Um, his brother. Uh, his brother, excuse me, is supposed to be fighting Caleb Plant next. It's the rumor.
So yeah. But you know, that is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Check the box news playlist out for more videos like this. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the link. Uh, think in the uh, conversation, obviously. You can reach out to me on X, Spotify, Instagram, all that good stuff. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.